What are you doing? Everybody, Jason Bowes on the tractor, Holly Farm. Back on the 5101. Let me get in here with Bobo. We'll talk to y'all. Bobo. Hey, Bobo. Me and Bobo back on the John Deere 5101. Fixing to go back up here and try to get back started on the uh, once a year stuff that we was on when the tractor broke, when we, when we uh, lost the bolt in the cutter. I think we got everything fixed. Go up here and see if we can get something done today. Alright, here we go. See if we can keep her together today and get some of this done. right here stays wet holds a lot of moisture all year it's just now getting dry enough to cut and avoid as tall as a tractor ain't it bobo it's tall and thick another spot right here that I kind of let go it stays so wet the year maybe last year I didn't even hardly get to cut it but we got good clover right there so I'm gonna start spraying I got a little wider this time but next time we spray I'm gonna get a little bit wider try to get this clover to move on over here stop some of this heavy bush hogging right here because it is tall as the track big big that's one thing about where you spray, even if you, when we have to clip it, it'll go fast because it's so thin, just a few little things that the uh, chemical don't get and then most all of it's dead anyway. See how brown it is. I got a couple of roads that I work on, want to work on. A couple of them got states of wet last year. Some of the stuff I didn't get to get kind of got behind, so I just kind of want to check on some of them. There's a little, little log right there. Just work on a couple while I'm up here. There's spots right here that were skid trails the last time they logged it that I've kind of they smoothed up kind of been taking them back over with the bush hog these are spots that if I decide to burn or know I'm gonna burn that next year or whatever I can come in here with the drill plant me a couple of rows of rye grass put a little clover in there with it or something then when it gets time to burn I'll have a green fire lane all I have to do is light her and let her go. So that's kind of my kind of my idea on that. Make a little food plot too. There's a little trash that's almost rotted. That's kind of watch it go over. But other than that, 
pretty smooth. You run that drill down through the air a time or two, she'll be she'll be sleep. Bobo ain't jumping much yet. I gotta work on that with him before he can load up, but found him a high spot to crawl up here and he can get to my lap now. He's a pretty good old pup. Scratch my leg to pieces this morning with his short fences on, but it's gonna be a honey. y'all had a pretty good day today had a lot of grass cut and everything stayed together good so far just been piddling around here for a little while a little while it's hot i'm leaking anyway i am finna go in the house that butterfly's been following me around all evening anyway sitting on the camera now oh about to call it a day appreciate y'all watching out of here